XLM or XRP, which one will win the current situation? Find out in today's episode, guys. What is up, guys? Welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto, and make sure you stay till the end for my XRP price prediction. In today's news, we have XRP holding around the 0.86 value, then dropping off suddenly just in the past a few hours to the current value, which is 0.81. The the lowest point being 0.8073. For the past seven days, XRP has been uh, fluctuating a lot, hitting a spike in value here uh, in the middle of the week, hitting the highest point at 0.90, then suddenly dropping off and then hitting a cliff dive here in just in the past 24 hours. So what are the news here for xrp xlm or xrp decoding uh let am's crypto cross-border remittance preference so cross-border remittances are a matter of life and death as the current world situation and afghanistan's frozen funds have shown us however there are plenty of high stakes use cases for crypto investors even in less precarious financial situations this naturally, uh, naturally raises the question of which crypto might be the best suited to, to a use case involving cross-border travel. While many assume Bitcoin or Ethereum to be the top choices thanks to their, their market caps and dominance, the truth is that Tether USDT boasted the highest 24-hour uh, volume on 24th of March 2022. USDT volume in that time frame was 78.44 billion, while Bitcoin was only 29.7 billion. To that end, a report by the Stellar Development Foundation and Wirex on crypto adoption this year revealed how 9,257 people in the UK, US, Singapore and Mexico used crypto for their cross-border payment needs. These are diverse countries indeed, but it seems that the majority share a hatred for pesky transaction fees. Furthermore, the report stated 45% of respondents from the general population group have sent cryptocurrency to somebody in another country. A surprising insight from Mexico was that more than the supposedly tax-heavy youth, it was seniors spearheading cross-border payments. The report noted, looking at surveys, uh, survey results in Mexico, we saw that cryptocurrency users aged 65 and over are most likely to have sent cryptocurrency to someone in another country. So what is the takeaway from these stats? All in all, people use the crypto they deem best for their needs rather than using crypto specifically designed for purposes like cross-border travel, for example, XRP or even Stellar's XLM. In fact, even Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin has commented on the popularity of stablecoins in Argentina. This perhaps indicates that crypto users with uh, unstable fiat uh, uh, currencies prefer to settle international transfers with, with less volatile crypto. So. Uh, while the survey discovered that crypto ownership is low in Mexico, El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin has surpassed interest in the technology and its possibilities. However, one must acknowledge that it isn't just everyday citizens in Mexico who are using crypto for cross-border payments, but financial giants as well. The blockchain LATAM report 2022 by Sherlock Communications stated, uh, remittances are among the main use cases of crypto in Mexico. Bits alone currently processes over 1 billion US dollars in remittance, around 2.5% of all remittances going into Mexico. The Mexican exchange reportedly has around 4 million users and plans to expand throughout Latin America. So guys, with the current situation in the world and with Ripple's current situation with XRP and the ongoing lawsuit, I really believe it's a great thing that they're trying to spread out uh, their portfolio of potential investment 
candidates as we can see here uh, a lot of all older people are actually using crypto for their uh, cross-border transactions which was definitely unexpected and xrp is trying to cash in that uh, cash in on that opportunity so could xrp be become the future uh crypto value to be traded cross borders we'll see but it definitely definitely has a lot of potential to do so so that is it for today's news guys come back tomorrow